Hey guys, I'm here from AndroidRoots.com, right there, and today we're taking a look at Cataclysm ROM for your Nexus 4 device. So let's go ahead and dive into settings right away and see all the settings, all the options, and all the features that you do get with this uh, ROM. And the cool thing is uh, that a lot of these features are not included in other ROMs, especially other AOSP ROMs. Um, so that's actually a big bonus in my uh, opinion, um, that you don't really see these uh, options a lot, as I know a lot of the ROMs are very repetitive with their features as you can get them with other ROMs and all that. Um, so what I have a lot of respect for this ROM in specific and to this developer as a lot of these features I have not seen in other ROMs as far as I know. Um, so of course you gotta do quick toggles. Um, you have seen that in other ROMs. Uh, slider shortcuts you have. Um, I'll go ahead and quickly demonstrate quick toggles just in case if you haven't seen it. Um, so you can go ahead and enable fourth column if you want. So you can get four columns now. So one, two, and you can add more. Um, so let's go ahead and resize our toggles. Um, so you can do to 150%. Now they're going to be huge. Okay, so as you can see, they're huge now. Kind of a weird size there. Um, you can go and rearrange your toggles too. So you can go and change the order too. And all that. So you can do a lot of cool stuff. So we're going to go and put uh, airplane mode last. And our airplane mode will be last right there. Um, so you can do all these cool things on that, uh, which is neat and nice. Um, you can go and rearrange it and all that. I'm not going to go into specifics as you guys do get the main idea. Um, you got slider shortcuts. It deals with your lock screen. So if you can go tap on this, empty. You can go and add anything you really do want. Um, so we can go and add and... Oh, there's actually no application option now. Huh. That's a little bit weird. Um, I always usually always get application options. Huh. Okay. Or maybe profile app list. Okay, there we go. So it's uh, profile app list. There we go. It's just not called application. Um, so we can go and add Chrome, OK, save. And now when you go ahead and go to your lock screen, you have Chrome as one of your options, and it'll automatically open that application. Of course, you can go and add more bookmarks, history, all the other great stuff too. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at the cool stuff now, the cool new features I really haven't seen in other ROMs. In Call Blocker is one of them. Um, so you can go in here and go into in call blocker and go ahead of whitelist mode um, and you can go and block specific people. Maybe there's uh, telemarketers, a lot of people. Maybe you accidentally gave out your um, cell phone number on the internet and now there's a lot of spammers calling you, texting you and all that. Go ahead and block them, you know, make sure they're gone forever. Um, right here is smart 3G. That's This is probably one of my favorite features in here. Um, it's very, very cool. So um, actually, um, it says right here, this will keep 2G active when mobile modem is unused. This applies, for example, when mobile data is off or you are connected to Wi-Fi. Um, so right here, you can go ahead and enable low battery. Um, you can go ahead battery tr uh, threshold. So let's say, what percent do we want? Maybe uh, we can do 25%, okay? Um, so now, whenever it's at 25%, it'll actually switch to 2G. And let's say your screen is off, it'll switch to 2G. And you can go and delay the switch if the network is in use. Um, you can go and delay the threshold for the speed. So this is pretty darn cool. You really don't see this amount of customization for your data, specifically, you know, all uh, surrounded by your data options and all that. So you can go and do it, uh, switch it to 2G when you have low battery. And if you guys didn't know, 2G will save you a massive amount of battery. Um, instead of using 4G, you're going to save a lot of battery when you're using 2G. Uh, when screen is off, you really don't need 4G or 4G LTE. So, you know, leave your screen off, save a lot of battery when you're not really using it. Uh, speed, screen is on and all this. So switch back to 2G slash 3G uh, when screen is on, screen is on and unlocked or phone is charging. Um, so it's very, very cool, very cool options. My favorite part of this ROM. Um, you also have spoofing, so fake calls. Um, so you can actually go and do call or name, you can do anything, so you, we'll just leave it to fake call. Uh, you can enter any call or number, so you can do whatever you really want, so you can do this. I think it's unlimited, okay, you can do any amount of number too, I guess. <laughs> so you can do that, uh, number label, all that, call delay, uh, call replete delay, and all that. Um, so let's see, what does that do? Let's so actually play it. Okay, so I actually have an incoming call from this number. Okay, so you can go ahead and say, hey, I got a phone call from this person or all that too. Um, pretty darn sweet, pretty darn nice if you want a fake phone call. Um, you also got lock screen wallpapers, so you can go and set it. Uh, we can do to custom, and we can go and choose anything we really want. We can just add profile picture, and we'll add my latest profile picture. And uh, Okay, cannot load image. 
Uh, background could not be changed. Okay, uh, that could just been the image. Maybe it was a wrong format or anything like that. Or maybe it was just based off online and my Wi-Fi is off. But that's okay. You guys get the idea of that. Um, you also have battery style right here. So you can go and change it to circle only. Not even a nice circle. Uh, hide battery if you want it all together. Um, circle and text. So it gives you the percent inside the circle. Um, you also have keyboard layout. So you can actually go and customize the height, the width, all the other cool stuff too. So we'll go and take a look at this. So you can actually enable fifth number row, which whatever that means. So uh, number row height, you can actually go and change the number row height, so how high you want it. Uh, keyboard height, you can go and change it. Oh, there you go. Uh, enable fifth. Okay, so in landscape too, so you can go and change that too. And let's go and change that. And there you go. Okay, so there's no save. Let's see if it did save. Let's go back into there. So it did save. And let's see how it looks now. Um, so we'll go into messaging and see how the keyboard looks. Haven't really tried this. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So hey, I guess that could work if you have big fingers. Um, it could be a lot easier for you guys to tap. Or if you just have someone who has bad eyes, um, this could help you. Of course, the X looks like the X is kind of gone. Um, so you kind of need to figure it out, uh, you know, really just change the height and width of it correctly to get it just right for to show the X and all that backspace, I mean, too. And you have a lot of other options, too. Wow, oh, I didn't scroll down, so I didn't notice that. Um, you also have keyboard. Okay, we already uh, mentioned that. Uh, soft key, uh, uh, fade mod. We're not going to go into that. Resize navigation bars. These are the navigation bars. Change the size. And I believe, okay, just changing the size, too. So you can go and change it to 30. And now, as you can see, they're super small right there. Um, and all right. And okay, here's the rest of them. Um, so what you can see, you can actually back up the settings. That's something you don't really see in other ROMs. That's pretty darn sweet. So when I tap on backup, and now backup was successful. Though this was the last backup. And now let's see if I can restore it. And now it should have restored my last settings. So yes, it actually did restore my last settings. Uh, the little navigation bars are really small keyboard is really messed up and there's the, my extra now so now my X is showing up um, so there you guys go um, that's pretty darn sweet and that is what I really want to show you guys I just went on t I think I went on to most of the features at least all the features I want to show you guys this is cataclysm ROM be sure to check it out unique features that you don't usually see in other ROMs so you guys are actually gonna have fun with this new features to experience share with your friends you know have, just you know just have fun with this ROM guys at all um, of course if you guys are actually interested in downloading and installing this ROM one link in the video description is down below and if you guys did enjoy this ROM review be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner right there only two only two clicks away to really make my day. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace. And, of course, if you guys want to go ahead and catch up with me, you know, stay updated with all my news, which videos I upload, and just, you know, anything I post, uh, be sure to like, follow me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All social networks links are down below. Thanks, guys. Peace.